Hi everyone, welcome to Trevor Gulliger Drums. Today I thought rather than play my drums or teach you a little technique, a little bit of a talk about what makes you a good drummer or good life performance drummer. Is it your practice or is it actually just sitting there playing your drums all day? Well, it really it's a combination of both, but I would say that if you spent at least 65, 70% of the time sitting on your drum kit and actually playing, whether it's with other musicians or just sitting there playing drums by yourself, that will bring you much more benefit as a drummer than sitting there all day with your little practice pad in front of you going. Uh, yes, you need to do your rudimental and practice and playing and building skill but sitting behind your drum kit and getting used to playing and working on different combinations and just playing drums is what's going to make you a far better performer in the end and so that might go against what a lot of people would think you have to spend so much time doing your rudiments and your practice and sit on a practice pad all day and this drill, 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 drill. And, you know, hop on your drum kit once a week or something when you're doing a gig on the weekend, if you're lucky. Um, yeah, I don't see it that way. I see it more, more time you can spend on your drum kit and just playing for the fun of it, but also playing to get a sense of groove and sitting in the music when you're playing on your drum kit. I think that is much more beneficial to you than spending all day doing drills on a practice pad. But that said, you know, you need that practice pad time, but you definitely need to be sitting on your drum kit and playing that as well. You know, it's so damn important. You know, a lot of the best drummers in the world, um, they didn't start on practice pads. In fact, um, a lot of drummers, a lot of the better drummers in the world, if you look at their history, especially going back a few years, a lot of them started on, you know, bashing the pots and pans in the kitchen and sending their mothers crazy, you know, um, denting all, all her mums, all their mums' um, wonderful um, saucepans. But um, I started the same way. I used to do that. I used to bash them and take the lids off saucepans and you know, nail them onto sticks for symbols and um, eventually my parents got sick of me um, destroying the kitchen and um, bought me a drum kit <laughs> so, so uh, that's um, you know but it's amazing how many I, I hear a lot of interviews on you know famous drummers and how they started you know they sat around bashing things or pots and pans and you know and often got influenced by you know brothers and sisters, friends who may have been musicians. And and I, I came up really the same way. And my first few years in playing drums was, I had no instruction at all. I just listened to records, uh, vinyl records, yes, in those days, way back. And I would do my best to imitate them on my pots and pans. And eventually, um, when I got um, a real drum kit, I used to sit there a lot and play along to records. We had a big old stereogram and back in those days and I'd put the record on and turn it up full blast and uh, you know I vaguely remember those speakers in that stereogram got distorting like like you wouldn't believe because I had it up so loud and I'd sit there and play along to those records and the more I played along the more I got a sense you know I was imitating famous drummers by doing that and I started to pick up little tricks and things and and a few years later down the track, I, I actually got formal lessons. But I never stopped sitting there and just playing, you know, playing my drum kit. And I find that's been so beneficial. And and also just, you know, getting in a room with a few muso friends and just jamming and jamming and not really caring what we play and just improvising and exploring. I think that has given me the most benefit um, in my playing you know, yes, my practice and my rudiments and drills and things have raised my, you know, ability to do things. But I think it's sitting there playing my drums is what's what's given me the most, um, um, which has you know improved my skill more than anything at all. So um, if you're not already sitting around playing your drums more regularly, 
um, I would highly recommend you do that. Now, you might have no noise issues where you live. I'm fortunate in my neighborhood. I can sit down on my drums and play them all day, every day, and no one ever complains. I am very lucky. But if you've got noise problems, well, you know, buy yourself a kit, um, a practice pad kit. At least then you're getting used to moving around a drum kit and and you're not just sitting there with one pad playing all day, you know. Um, so it's, it's really important. If you can get yourself uh, onto a real drum kit, and play it, you know, getting used to the feel of that kit and, you know, different sounds that you can get out of each drum and, and just playing like that is so beneficial to your overall playing and performance skill. So uh, I hope this little video has been helpful to you. Please subscribe to my channel and, um, you know, make this old drummer happy by subscribing. And, you know, for no other reason, it's really good karma to um, bring benefit to someone's life. <laughs> so please subscribe. Okay, on that note, people, um, have a wonderful day and be kind to yourself and others. And get on your drum kit and play the hell out of it. Bye.